Hey YouTube, let me tell you what I've been working on here for the LS4 uh, swap that I'm planning to do. And that is, I'm trying to figure out where I need to cut the LS4 oil pan to clear the starter for location mount on the pan. What I did is I came over here to my LX9 and I took a rough centerline measurement of the flywheel out to the end of the starter and that measurement was approximately seven and a quarter inches. Then what I did is I came over here to my LS4 block and I made a rough measurement from the center line of this flex plate on the LS4 to the center line of this oil pan bolt location right here. This measurement here is about one inch then I was able to take this measurement and add it into another measurement that I'll show you here in a second. And then this measurement here, so I got my center line on my bolt here for the LS4 oil pan. And I was able to come one inch from here over to here and that would give my location um, where my flex plate is located. So flex plate here, one inch, and then I would have to add six and a quarter inches from here to get my location of how far back I gotta go to cut the LS4 oil pan to make sure my starter clears. And that's this line right here. Another measurement that I did is I measured roughly from the center line of the flex plate to the oil pickup, which is here, and that is approximately 10 inches. So I came back to my LS4 oil pan and the rough location for the pickup is right here. Now you can see that I've got, I don't know, I've got maybe three and a half inches or so. I suppose I can measure. Let's just get that there. Three and a half inches roughly from where the oil pickup is to where I need to chop out where the starter is going to be. Which means my oil pickup is not going to interfere with the starter. I don't have to worry about that, which is good news. I think this oil pan is maybe five or six quarts. I'm going to have to go back and pull up the research on that. I'll probably lose maybe a quart of capacity here, or maybe a quart and a half, and I'll have to try to add that back later. I might be able to gain a little bit back over on this side right here. Maybe that looks like maybe a half a quart right there I might be able to pick back up but I'll have to see about this location over here if that'll even clear the cradle this is actually the front of the motor right here but that's what I've been working on I'm gonna start cutting this up and um, I'll have video on that when I do and uh, stay tuned guys for more LS4 swap in a Fiero and um, we'll see how she goes thanks guys